G'day ladies and gentlemen, The Butts Barney. Hope you're doing well. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do because today we have got a fantastic video. What is it? All right, so 50,000 subscribers. We passed that the other day and I decided to get a very special little mystery box. I think I paid $300 for this mystery box. Let's check it out. No mucking around. We have Pokemon Steve. There we go. There's his eBay store. I'll, I'll put a link to it in the comment section below if this is a good mystery box. Um, there's his Instagram as well, Steven underscore IG. And for all the stock updates, check out Facebook slash Steve 13 Look at the little Char Charizard there. That's pretty sick. Uh, and what have we got here? We've got a Gengar who seems to be pinging off his head. That's exciting. All right, now, we have a pink box. We have two boxes, one on top of the other. I'll take this camera up here. And we'll have a bit of a look. What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? I'll put it down on there. There's nothing else in that box. Let's move the other half over here for safekeeping. And let's put that right there. Now, we'll zoom in. What do we have? Oy, there we go. I know what that is. There we go. A Shiny Star V booster box. Not bad at all. That is exciting. Fantastic. We'll put that there. Should we open that first? Let's open it first, fuck it. We'll open it first, and then we will, if I can get the dog open. I see Brammer's struggling to open these all the time. Um, I don't even have my little cutter thing. Jesus. Little diggy, where's the cutter gone? I found it. I found it. I found the dog. Okay. Let's do this. I've only opened up about two of these, I think, and I haven't pulled anything too exciting. Now, I think there is one secret rare in every single booster box, and I'm pretty sure um, there is a fuck ton of shiny Pokemon in these openings. So don't get too excited if you see something shiny, because chances are... It's not exactly what we want. All right, let's flip them over. Hey, that's cool. I don't know what that is. It's exciting. That Oh, that's the code card. Right, I didn't know they had the other side. So these are the code cards that you can collect as well. There's a fishy head. There's a weird looking one. There's a dooley dot. There's a ringaloo. There's a psychic energy. A thingamajig. Oi, there we go. A, uh, what's that? Uh, something uh, incineroar. And a, oi, oi. Oh, a Ditto VMAX is the first pull of the uh, opening, and it is a very common card in this particular set, which is fine. That's okay. I am not mad about it. Now, I've watched Brammers open a fuck ton of these, so I know how to do it. You just rip the dog. There's a Bundle Boo. That thing. Shoot. Oh, water energy. Okay, so we get to two cards. I think this is... Oh, a Rangaroo. That's a sick-looking card. I might sleeve that up. That's That looks... Oh, I might sleeve it later. Let's see what's under here. Oh, a Lapras V. That's your shiny. That is the shiny, ladies and gentlemen. The Lapras V. I think that means we don't get the Charizard, which is annoying, but that is okay as well as it starts to... Oh, it's not pissing down outside. It's just very windy. We've had a lot of uh, wind issues on this channel. Not even just from me. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, mainly from the wind outside. Okay, so we'll put that right in there. It is card loaded, ready to go. This guy, that guy, little doggy, Dreadnought, that thing. Oh, there's a shiny little Pokemon, not bad. A Galarian Weezing and a Boss's Orders, maybe? Oh, okay, that's something, I think. I think. I'll have to check the prices on these. But there we go, a Zamazenta, yeah, I think, uh, or a Zashian. I think it's a Zamazenta, could be very wrong. A cool little pull nonetheless. We'll check out the prices in a moment. Well, you already know, I put them on the screen, didn't I? But I'll find out later and I'll either go and sleeve that up and freak out that it's out of its little casing, or it'll be all G. A Clobopus, a Snubble Snubble, a Little Dude, a Watsy, a Thingo, a How You Doing, and a... Oh, a Crobat VMAX. That is a good pull. Bravo. This is actually going really well. 
I know a lot of these cards come across as extremely good pulls, uh, but just in this set with every card, with every pack, uh, promising you a uh, a shiny or a uh, large sort of rare card, then it's not it's not as good as a normal pack. If you pull the full art like that, you'd be like you'd be freaking out. Uh, but in this uh, particular set, it's not as amazing, but it's still very exciting. There we have a little trainer dude, a center scorch, a, a rusted sword, a Watsy, a Zash. That's a cool looking card. Wow. Ooh, and a center scorch V. I'll put that over there because I like that little hollow. Um, we'll find out all the prices, as I said, momentarily. I think I was doing a binder of these. I can't even remember. But, uh, you know, you get that on the big jobs. All right. What do we got, ladies and gentlemen? There's a little... Is that Snubble? No, I don't know. Something. Oh, big pull. There we go. And, oh, two big pulls. That's that's actually, I think, I don't know. I don't know if that's good or not. I know that is. That is an amazing rare. Fucking what's its bloody name? We pulled these the other day with Bram Dog. Can't remember, but I haven't pulled that before, so that is exciting. I will remember what that's called. Uh, let me know in the comments what it's called. But uh, And a thick full art. I will put all those in the binder. These are really exciting to open because they are just constantly. This is a very vintage looking um, code card too. That thing, or a little Watsy, a little who you doing, what's doing, how's your father, one of those. Oh, and a Santa Scorch VMAX. Not bad. Put that up there, put that down there. Three packs to go. And we did pull the Lapras V, which is not bad. Get that graded for sure. Little Kitty Cat, Clefair, uh, Fossil, a great quick ball, Haunter, Galarian Obstagoon, that guy. Oh, and a little, what's that called? The th Thwicky Thwacky or whatever it's bloody called. I can never remember. Doesn't matter. Two to go. And then we'll be moving on to the next part of this very exciting mystery box. Um, because, what do we got in here? Let's have a look first. And a ditto V. Last pack magic. Can we pull something exciting? I think we may. Why not, hey? Why the fuck not? We've got something in here. There we go. Galarian wheezing. Put that right there. Ooh, and a little thing. All right. And a, and a little duck. That's exciting. That was fun. All right, good. We've, we've enjoyed that. We've enjoyed our time. Now, we'll clean up later, Butterfield. Right now, it's important to whip into it. So I need to somehow disconnect these. We have the next lot. What will we pull out of... Ooh! Okay. Okay, Pokemon Steven. I need to zoom out here. There's too much going on. We have a large and in charge card. Wow. A big Japanese card. I don't know what that is or what it's worth, but it's exciting. Pikachu the movie. Oh, wow. With the Entei and the Celery and the Mewtwo, the Lugia. Fuck yeah. Okay. We'll put that somewhere safe. It's a bit scary because you don't have a, um, there's no sleeves or anything. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. We'll go to these first, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Freaking out. Can I look on the front? Is there things on the... Okay, there is things on the front, so I won't do that. I'll do it like this. If I can get the dog open, that is. Where do you open this fucking thing? There. Okay. Let's open her up. And roof it out. These are all sleeved cards. So there must be something as we turn it over. Team Rockets me. Oh, wow. That is a promo card. A vintage Team Rockets Meowth. Fantastic. Ooh. What is... Oh, that's a... That's a Blastoise. Holy shit. Okay. All right. I can't really sleeve that. Oh, I can. I'll put it down. I'll sleeve this dog up. I'm not sure what the Blastoise... Blastoise? The Blastoise is worth. But it is very exciting. I'll put that in there because that's uh, 
We love the promo codes, codes cards on this channel. And it looks pretty slick, I'll tell you that. We'll put that straight in the pile to get sent off with the boys from Welcome Stranger. That's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. Blastoise. Oh, another Blastoise. Wow. Eevee, Jim Promo. Fuck yes. Oh, hang on. We're going Eevee Lucians here. Jolteon, Jim Promo. Vaporeon, Jim Promo. And the Eevee, there you go. And the Leafeon. And the Flareon. Oh, right. Right. Right, we need sleeves. We need it all, ladies and gentlemen. We need some sleeves going on in here. And they look good quality too, these. I tell you what, Pokemon Steve, not bad. Not bad, old son. Not bad at all. You done well, kid. I don't know how old you are, but you done well. I have to check the prices on those Blastoises, but these being promo cards, even though they are from 2019, still worth getting graded, I feel, and particularly having the whole set there, very special indeed. The Japanese ones as well, like this is gonna, these are going to go off to CGC with, um, with uh, PSA putting their prices up, but I still feel like P uh, CGC will actually hold their value. Uh, at this point, um, probably not. You know, you might lose out on maybe ten percent uh, when you when you sell with CGC for the for the next year or so. Maybe I don't know, but I think you're going to find a lot of people just won't go with uh, PSA because it is just too expensive uh, at this point in the world. So it is what it is, and uh, we're all sleeved up, ready to go. What is, I'm going to find out the costs on those, the prices on those. Let's find out here what in the world this is. Ooh, we have booster packs from XY Fire, Flash Fire rather. Wow. Oh, they look, they look too good to open, but unfortunately we open everything on this channel. We don't keep shit. Ooh, what do we have? We have a CGC card. We're just talking about CGC. Should we check it out? This is a graded card. Ooh, what do we got? Should I cover up the top? We have a Charizard promo. Wow, that is the Grand Prix promo in Japanese. A 9.5. Holy dicks and balls. Wow. I bought two of these. It's got a 10 on the edges. Corners are 9.5, surface a 9.5, and the centering is a 9. Dude, that is incredible stuff. Wow, what do I do with it? I'll grab it right here, and we'll put it in the little Duvalaki. That is a great card. Wow. All right. Everyone's got things to do, Isaac. Keep going. What do we have here? Oh! All right. I hope you didn't see that. We have another CGC card and another CGC card. Okay. This one, vintage. Let's have a look. We have, oi. Okay, so this is a banned Misty um, trainer card. An eight. And Misty's Tears. Now, this was banned because she is nude uh, and it's a bit sus. But yes, this is an eight, a near mint eight, CGC from Japan from the Japanese release. Wow, 1996, 1998. Fuck yeah, from the gym challenge set, I guess. Very nice. And we have here. Let's just go straight into it. A nine point five. Holy shit! That is a hollow Pokemon. What is it fucking called? Vault Tackle. I'm looking through the fucking camera and in real life. That is a Charizard from what would become Vivid Voltage in English. There is a hollow, hollow Vault Tackle. Wow. Pokemon Steve, go and check him out. He's fucking nailed this. Unbelievable. All right. We have two boosters as well. Let's do it. 
Let's crack these babies open. I don't even know what we're looking for here. But it is exciting nonetheless. What a great opening. We've got two Zards, two Japanese Zards. We've got a Kangaskhan on there. These are actually quite hard to open. How does one open these? Oh, there you go. Down the bottom, trying not to ruin everything. All right. There we go. We've got the Zard. We'll open that second. Let's go XY. Oh, they're just so brittle. Wow. Now, these, of course, are an early 2000 set, 2014. They do come with a code card. We have a Caterpie. We have a Pidgey. We have a Hepatitatile, a Fletchling, a Dooskull, a Pidgey Reverse Hollow, and a... Oh, a Mega Charizard! No, 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 no way. Holy shit. Holy balls. Holy Dixon balls. Ladies and gentlemen, that is unbelievable. Let me sleeve that up right now before we do anything. Where's the bell? Not bad. Mega Charizard EX. Fucking hell from XY. Flash flyer? Flash flyer. Get her in there. Oh, she looks good too. Little bit of edge wear there. It's actually miscut too. Hey, not bad. Or are they all miscut? Look at that. Look at the different. Oh, they're all sort of cut. Maybe that's just actually. Oh, you're not even on camera. Just there. See how it's a bit in comparison to the. Maybe it's just jammed on the on the bottom of the uh, the uh, Watsy. But nonetheless, what a pull! Pull the Zard from one pack. Unbelievable. All right, let's get the second one. This is the Zard pack. What else was in there? A Rapidash, a Luxo, and a Floret. All right. Move this forward because it's off the table. Oh, I love opening old booster packs. This is exciting. There's the code card. Spritzy. Seafell. Bunary, Hepatile, Geodude, Litto, oh, and a Gudra. Don't know what the Gudra is. I'm not familiar with Gudra, but I'll sleeve it anyway. Protection Cube and a Graveler. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the opening today. Um, thank you very much to Pokemon Steve. Go and check out his eBay store. He looked after me today um, with that mystery box. Now, he does do mystery boxes, but go and check him out. He's got a lot of amazing products on there. He's a good dude, nice fella. And I tell you what, he looked after me. I'm sure he'll look after you. So, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me, Dick Stink. Keep it moist, and I'll see you very soon. Toodle, bye.